what is the importance of red data book okay so let's start with a topic first is what is a species what is species species is nothing but the organisms which can interbreed themselves which can have capable of interbreed for example a offspring a uh, organisms which is ca having capable of uh, producing a new offspring. For example, we human being. We human being have a capability to reproduce a human baby. So we are a kind of species. Next, uh, uh, for example, a mango tree. So mango tree have a capable to reproduce a next generation mango plant. Okay, from a mango seed we can have mango plant so mango plant is a type of species so there are varieties of species in our biosphere so in that we're going to know some type of categories of the species in the surrounding okay first is our threatened species first is what threatened what does threatened means threatened species threatened Threatened species. Threatened species are nothing but the species which are have danger, endangered for the extinct. That means the species which have the um, varieties causes for the end of the species. Okay. The, for example, like uh, some species have danger, some species have very very danger for living. They can sustain. They cannot be sustained for the longer. Those species are called threatened species due to some natural calamities, due to some um, other um, disabilities, the species not able to sustain for the longer. Those species are called threatened species. Next is our endomic. What is this endomic species? Endomic species are nothing but the species which found in a particular area which found in a particular area, found in a particular area, okay, particular area, okay, the species which are found in a particular area. Next is third one, extinct, extinct species. What does extinct means? To end up something. Okay, these are the species which are present in the past, non, not in the present situation. In present situation, it has been vanished. The species, this type of species are present in the past. We can study about the species that has in the past. In the present, it has been vanished. There is no species uh, data in the present. Okay, there is no offspring present in the space, present situation in this type of species. Okay, for example, dodo. Dodo is an example of extinct species. Okay, dodo. Okay, next kya hai? What is next? Next is uh, threatened species, endemic species, extinct species. Next is endangered. 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 Endangered species. Endangered species is nothing but end. Something has going to be end. Danger. They are danger. They are in danger position. Okay. Endangered species. The species are having danger for surviving further. So this is going to extinct as soon. Okay. So we have to take care of them. Okay. This is some example like blue whale. Blue whale. Next, tiger. This is some example of endangered species which can extinct as early possible because of because of some hunting and because of not taking care of them. Maybe because of that, it is causes of endangered species. Next is what? Next, endangered species. Next is with. 
vulnerable species. Vulnerable species. Vulnerable species are nothing but the, those species which are uh, have helpless means they are not able to cope up with the surrounding because of hunting or some other natural disaster because of that these organisms these species are not able to uh, generate their offspring for the next generation they are reducing their growth rate day by day okay um, vulnerable uh, because this is this is mainly because of the human activities and some vulnerable species which are here in the picture we can see here next is our sixth one is rare rare species rare species are nothing but rare means these species are present in our world whole earth very small amount small percentage of this species is present but it lives in the entire world Okay, it's scattered in the entire world in a different different areas. Rare species is very very small, uh, small area covers, small type of species which are covered whole earth, which is scattered in the whole earth. For example, which we can see in this picture, there are varieties of rare species. Okay, so these are some. These are some categorized of species as we can six types, okay, six, six uh, species categorized according to that there will be uh, species are classified, okay. Next we are going to know about what is, next we are going to know about what is migration. What is migration? We heard this word migration. Migration is nothing but movement of Moment of from one place to another. Okay, so migration is nothing but the moment of moment from one region to another. So in this migration, animals and birds also do migration. How? For example, is a very good example in Rajasthan bird migration. It is very famous. It is a seasonal migration, and at a particular season, birds used to fly from far to a particular region every season has that okay so, so there, there will be seasonal mi migration or any uh, natural climatic migration or any disaster migration so uh, birds and animals migrate from one region to another this is known as migration for example as we can see in this picture the migrations of the birds and animals okay so next is our after migration next is our red data book okay red data book what is red data book red data book red data data is nothing but in which some data is keeping some information is used to kept in this book what type of information we can see in this are uh, nothing but uh, this type of uh, information like uh, it is can it can be national or international it can be national or international book uh, in this book all the documentary endangered animals and plants as well as birds all the endangered animals and plants are documented in this book red data book Okay, red data means all the information about that species and book is in for is in this book all the uh, minimum minimum characterized of the species is written. So this is very very important for knowing the detail of the species and uh, for the future purpose and what are the species has been in the present age and what will be there in the future and what has been in the past this book helps to identify this is very important book for every uh, national international species record okay so i hope this is clear uh, make sure you can see for the next part of the of this video Thank you for watching.